Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make dust with the Niagara fluid system in Unreal Engine. So let's start. So first you have to go to edit plugins then search for Niagara fluid and just activate the Niagara Fluids beta, then you will have to restart your engine. And if you have that done, just search for some dust textures on the internet. I found this one here and I changed it a little bit so it's a bit more centered, round. And for the next step, we have to create a dust material. I will drag the texture into the material. Of course, you can create this texture yourself. It's not that hard. Just grab some fog texture and make an overlay with color. We need to plug the RGB into the base color, then plug the alpha into the opacity. And make sure the blend mode is set from opaque to translucent. And you will see very quickly, this looks fine, this looks good. And what we can do already is just grab a multiply node, add it in between, and then you just can change the strength of it. I will set it to two, so it's a bit more dark, and then just save the material. Okay, now for the interesting part, right click, go to Niagara system, and we want a new system from selected emitters. We can look through the template. You will see these are more like gas and water and stuff and we don't need that. So let's go ahead and grab new system from selected emitters. Scroll down a bit and we want this hanging particles. Okay, click on this plus sign, then finish. And let's call this dust underscore system. Okay, if the shaders are compiled, you can see those particles just flying around in the air. And what we need to do is go to this hanging particles tab, click on the material and from there we just can select our dust material and then save it. Once it's saved, it's actually nearly done. You can see if I place a Niagara system and actually go into the area of the system, there are those particles flying around in the air. You can see it not that good because the background is in the same color, but if I click on it, you can see all those yellow hitboxes and this is where the particles are. You can see some in front of the camera and they move really slowly. And what you can actually do is go into the dust system and you can change all those parameters to your liking, like the wind force. You can change the wind speed so they fly around faster. You can change the scale, the frequency of the wind. Also, there's this aerodynamic drag tab. You can experiment with those values. And also, if you want more particles, you can change the spawn rate. You can change the lifetime. So the lifetime minimum refers to how long they are at least in the air. And the lifetime max is how long they are maximum in the air. And then they will disappear. Also, you can go to the shape location and it's set to box plane right now. So the particles spawn in the box. You can change this to sphere, cylinder or whatever you need, whatever you like. And also you can change the size of it. Okay guys, and this is actually it. It's that easy. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.